So I'm here today visiting Camp Grayling, watching the participants in Northern Strike from the active duty, the Army Reserve, the Army National Guard, the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force, all participating in a multi-domain, multi-service interaction, all training for how they would defend our country in the event of a pretty bad day. It's an austere environment. It's tailor-made for what some of our adversaries would be expecting us to meet them and defeat them on. And this is why coming together here has tremendous opportunity and should be further utilized in the future. So as a warrant officer, looking at our role in larger exercises, we're the smallest rank component in all three uh, components of the Army. Yet, we have such critical roles being technical experts, master trainers, that we can literally determine the outcome of an exercise based on the pre-planning with our technical background and involvement. In something like this exercise out here, what the warrant officers are doing from flying to signal to military intelligence to medical is, is unmatched. In my opinion, having civilian counterparts come in and train with us and support this exercise represents what could possibly be a real world scenario defending our homeland. So having industry and having academia and having scientific partners showing us what they're working on and also being able to try things out here in a soldier environment has, has benefits second to none. We're looking for soldiers to come into our formation to be the one, the one who really wants to learn. We want you to stay for a longer time enjoy the camaraderie, get your skills, be able to apply as a dual career citizen what we've given you, and also bring what you learned on the civilian side into the military. There's no higher priority right now than people, and we want the best people to come in, and we want the best people to stay. On behalf of Lieutenant General Daniels, who's the Chief of the Army Reserve, Commanding General of the United States Army Reserve Command, and Command Sergeant Major Lombardo, we are saying we are proud to partner with the Guard we look forward to the future opportunities with the Guard, and as evidenced with my visit out here today, things look really bright for the future between Component 2 and Component 3.